Why do so many people pay close attention to the hour by hour? This is a YouTube partner saying this, by the way. Why do so many people pay attention to the hour by hour numbers? They typically mean nothing for the long term. This is absolutely correct. So it doesn't matter what happened to your numbers in the last 24 hours. It doesn't matter what happened to your numbers in the last 48 hours. What matters is what happens to your numbers on a monthly, quarterly, and annual basis. And so when you're creating your goals as a creator, when you're making your goals as a creator, you need to be thinking first and foremost, how much money do I need to make on a monthly basis in order to pay my bills? Not how many views do I need to be getting on an hourly basis? Guess what? Paying your rent doesn't happen in terms of views on an hourly basis. Paying your rent is something that you do each month. And so you need to be focusing on monthly financial goals. And as a result, you maybe should be focusing on monthly view goals to help support those finances. And so what I recommend to creators that can't handle it or are emotionally affected or can't stop looking away from their analytics, one thing that you can do is you can uninstall the YouTube app on your phone because looking at your hour by hour analytics isn't doing jack squat for you. What you need to be doing is assessing your strategy on a monthly basis. And when you assess your strategy, you want to be looking at what is my top performing content and what is my lowest performing content? And what do you do with those? Your top performing content, you double down on it and you make more of it. Your lowest performing content, you stop making that content and you make more time and more room for your top performing content. Rinse and repeat on a monthly basis. But do not reassess your content strategy. Do not reassess your business strategy. Do not reassess every single video every 24 hours or every hour. Because if you do, then you're gonna be looking at YouTube murder like this behind you. And you're gonna be looking at things like have that happen like this in your numbers all the time. And you're gonna making snap decisions that aren't smart. You need to be taking the long view in terms of your content taking the long view in terms of your strategy because you wanna be doing this for a long time, right? For you wanna be full-time creating content, not just for the next hour or the next 24 hours, but for the next year, two years, five years, 10 years, 30 years.